stay tuned because we're going to be doing a full review of the Zenith Shadow XR football helmet. Let's go. What's going on guys, it's your boy here and today we have finally got another football helmet review. Today we have in the house the Zenith Shadow XR right here. If you guys just want to take a quick look, I got the matte black version. It looks super cool from the black back too. Um, it's got that like little Zenith bumper. It looks super cool. Um, and I will be doing a full in-depth review. Um, we are going to be doing comfort, safety technologies, and then price at the end. And then, um, so yeah, it looks super menacing and I'm really excited to get right into this video. But first, I just wanna say all my social medias will be linked in the description below so you guys can stay um, connected with me. You guys can ask me questions on my Twitter. Um, sometimes I stream on Twitch, depending on how I feel. Um, so yeah, and then I know a lot of you guys aren't actually subscribed to my channel, but I do football reviews and unboxings on this channel and um, subscribe if you guys like that kind of thing. So I know you guys wanna watch this video and get right into this helmet. So first we are going to be going over comfort. Um, so I don't know if the camera's gonna actually pick this up, but it has these little black air bubbles inside of the helmet. So much like the Zenith X2E Plus, if you guys have been following my channel for a really long time, I did that just over a year ago. My voice was much higher and I had a super short haircut, but I think I've evolved. Um, so yeah, it much like the Zenith X2E Plus, it has these little air bubbles inside that are super comfortable. I really like what they've done with the comfort. Um, it's a lot different than the Speedflex and the shut helmets that I've had in the past. Um, I really, really like it. And so it's very comfortable, but it does feel a tiny bit heavy on my head. So I know this thing is slightly um, heavier than the Speedflex, um, but that is just something you have to get used to, if you guys don't mind at all. Um, I know I always have to get used to football helmets because I've been wearing lacrosse helmets for the past six months or so. Because I do play lacrosse in the off season, and those helmets are much more comfortable and much lighter than football helmets. But it's always something yeah you have to get used to, and it's not that big of a deal if you guys don't mind. So that is pretty much all it is for the comfort. I think it's very comfortable. Um, other than the weight, I really like the the thing that they've done with the air bubbles. Although, um. It does not have anywhere that you can pump up the air bubbles. So if you guys have seen my Speed Flex review, it has a bunch of holes in the top, the back, and the front, the jaw pads um, of the helmet where you can pump up the, the helmet so it fits your uh, head more. Although it does not have that, it has a chin strap that when you pull it, the jaw pads and the back constricts onto your helmet, uh, onto your head, so it is much more comfortable and fits you much better, which I really, really like of what they did with um, the new Zenith helmet. So this is the new Zenith helmet. Zenith Shadow XR is the brand new helmet from Zenith. Um, they've used all the technologies that they have in the past years and have upgraded them, and it um, is a great segue into the next category, which is safety and technology. They have advanced the shock absorbing technology. So I will pop up a diagram right now because I know for sure my camera will not read um, the little things that I see inside of here. So I'll pop up a diagram right now of the shock absorbing bases inside of the new Shadow XR. So they absorb the impact much like the shut helmet, which is kind of a squishy gel that um, moves freely from the shell. Um, so I really, really like that because it is ranked very, very high on the NFL safety, hold on, NFL safety helmet rankings or leaderboard, whatever you want to call it. I forget the name of the company that does the, um, testing, but it's ranked very high just below the Riddell Speedflex diamond helmet that just came out. I'm trying to get my hands on that. Um, it is a little bit expensive, so I'm going to have to save up for it which again is a great segue into the next topic, which is price. So this thing is $369, I believe, which is actually, it seems like a lot, but is, is kind of on the lower end of helmets. The Vice's helmet, by the way, Vice's just went out of business. I heard that from like a um, Twitch uh, follower of mine that told me one time that Vice's just went out of business. Um, their helmet cost about $900, which is very, very expensive. The Shut F7 is like $600. 
The Riddell Speedflex Diamond is $479, and this helmet is um, $369. And what you're getting with this helmet is awesome. I really, really like this thing. It is uh, very comfortable, um, very safe, and um, if you guys pick this up, you guys will not be sorry because it feels really um, quality in my hands and uh, built with precision. precision. Um, that was a big mouthful right there. And so um, I really recommend this thing for you guys because it is $369, which is on the mid to low range of helmet price. I know the shot has the shot recruit. Um, I've seen tons of people use those. They're around $115. Something like that. I saw those. Uh, I saw that a little bit longer. Um, a little bit. Hmm. A little bit. Wa I saw that a little while ago. Um, I did a review just like over a year ago or something like that. Um, on the Shut Recruit, and those things are much much cheaper. And um, but I don't think you're getting the value that you're getting in this thing. So um, this thing is super safe. It looks super awesome. If you guys like that kind of thing right there, it's got a super cool back. And then, um, yeah, so I really recommend this thing. Of course, if you guys are not subscribed, I would love it if you guys would subscribe. I'm trying to be more consistent on my channel, posting every couple weeks. Um, I keep getting products, stuff like that. I'm talking to companies, trying to get some more stuff for you guys. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, we can do another football helmet review. Um, of course, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.